Remember, so here you can see vascular strand also. Vascular strand, you people know what is the meaning of vascular tissue or vascular strand which is going to provide the nourishment to the once again complete ovule we can see. Okay, so these are the in, uh, parts where you can see the uh, structure of the ovule. Now coming to the main part that is the embryo sac. Okay, that is the embryo sac. It is also called as female gametophyte. The embryo sac is also called as what? Female gametophyte. Okay, now this female gametophyte or embryo sac is a bag like structure. It is a bag like structure where it is consisting of 7 celled, 8 nucleated stage. It is consisting of 7 celled, 8 nucleated stage. And uh, here towards the upper side or towards the chalaza, we can see the presence of the antipodal cells. What we are going to see, we can see the presence of the antipodal cells. And these antipodal cells are also called as vegetative cells. The antipodal cells are also called as vegetative cells which are haploid before fertilization. Before fertilization they are haploid. Now towards the micropyle or towards the opening of the ovule we are going to see this particular region. This particular region we are going to say it as a egg apparatus. What we are going to say? We are going to say it as a egg apparatus. Now what is the egg apparatus here? It is nothing but the combination of the synergies and the, the combination of the synergies and egg is called as egg apparatus. Okay, what is egg apparatus students? Combination of the synergies and egg is called as egg apparatus. So egg apparatus once again it is a two marks question or one mark question. It is the combination of a synergies and egg is called as egg apparatus. Now synergies are the these you can see. So this were these are the synergies. Okay. These are the synergies. So these synergies are also called as helper cells. Synergies are also called as helper cells or supportive cells. The synergies are also called as what? Helper cells or supportive cells where they are supporting the pollen tube to enter inside the embryo sac and they are haploid in nature. The antipodal cells, egg synergies are haploid in nature. Now coming to the central cell, central cell of the embryo sac. See you can see here there is a presence of two cells which are called as central cells. What these are called? They are called as central cells and these central cells are made up of polar nuclei. Two polar nuclei is there in the central cells. So before the fertilization they are haploid in nature. Before the fertilization they are haploid in nature. So here this haploid nature is fusing when during fertilization. During fertilization the haploid cells are fusing and they are forming the secondary nuclei. What they are forming? They are forming the secondary nuclei. Once again I will repeat here. Embryo sac is a bag like structure where there is a presence of 7 celled 8 nucleated stage and there is a presence of antipodal cells towards the chalaza presence of synergies and the filiform apparatus towards the micropyle. Two central cells are present in the center of the embryo sac. So these all are haploid before fertilization. 
we are going to see the egg apparatus also so egg apparatus is consisting of egg and the synergids synergids are the supportive cells or the helper cells we can say and egg is a female egg is also called as ovum what the egg is also called ovum now in the center of the embryo sac we are going to see the presence of two haploid polar nuclei and these two haploid polar nuclei during the fertilization they are undergoing the process called as fusion so that fused cell is called as secondary nuclei what it is called secondary nuclei and this secondary nuclei is the largest cell in the embryo sac because of the diploid nature that means 2n Num n plus n is 2n because of the diploid nature this is the largest cell in the embryo sac so this is the structure of the megasporangium or ovule or we can say anatropous ovule which is once again very important for five marks very important for five marks understood so this is the complete structure of the megasporangium or the ovule and also we have seen the structure of the female gametophyte okay students so here the pistil you have seen megasporangium and embryo sac and the female gametophyte you have seen so important structure you have to draw and you have to practice this diagram it is very important for the final exam